Well, here we are, back again at my place. Are resistance bands good for squats? Let's, uh, let's have a little look, shall we? Resistance bands are something I have been quite fond of for quite some time now. A lot of my training every week is done with resistance bands. Every one of my clients will do at least three exercises every session with me with a resistance band. They're just handy. You can take them everywhere. I train with them everywhere. Speaking of that, I've got a ebook, Train Wherever the Fuck You Want, which is all about resistance bands. Not only for squats, but for your whole body, so jump down into the description, get your copy of that. It's free, it's just free, I'm just, just giving it to you. That's the kind of guy I am. All right, well look, there's literally thousands of videos on YouTube where you can see people training with resistance bands. A big portion of those videos are all about the upper body. And look, admittedly, it is it is pretty easy to get a workout in on your upper body with a resistance band. It's pretty easy to make a video. Training legs with them seems to give people a bit of trouble. Let's be honest, and I'm more speaking to the guys out there, um, you just don't really like training your legs anyway, so whether it's bands or not, there's plenty of guys that just avoid training their legs. Anyway, there's a lot of videos out there showing like booty workouts with resistance bands, but that's with uh, teeny tiny ones which you wrap around your quads and then step your legs side to side and look that's that's effective but they have their limitations with a squat your teeny tiny ones your big ones your big full-on loop bands and even your ones with your handle on either end it's almost the same setup for both squats and deadlifts with those so let's look a little bit more at either of those typical setup for a deadlift you've got the bar basically touching your shins you're coming down with a nice straight back you've got your hands in your neutral grip and you're standing the bar up deadlift with a resistance band is pretty similar the only big change is that you then stand on the band and you pull up your handles either side but you still stand up the same you still drive through your legs the same you're still just using your arms as hooks the same you're not pulling with your arms squats same thing very similar to how you would do a front squat or a front rack squat when you've got the bar up on the top so you stand inside the band so your feet are just on one end of the band the other one comes up onto your chest in that front rack position and you squat up and down the same big benefit of training with bands instead of free weights on any movement is they're gonna make the tail end of the movement a lot more difficult as the band stretches it starts getting a lot harder so that's the big one the other big thing I talk about a lot with bands is they keep tension on through the whole range of motion there's while it does start easier it's still not easy there's still tension on the muscle from the get-go and it just progressively gets harder as you stand up into the movement. Let's have a look at a couple of little tips I have for making it easier to progress with resistance bands. And this is the same for any movement, not just squats, not just your legs. First one is double it up. You can double the band over, you can grab a second band. Fuck it, you can use your whole pack if your legs are that big. There's, there's no limit, just keep packing the bands on. You know, let's try and get to the point where you look like one of those stupid fucking rubber band balls that there was always that one kid at school had in their desk. Why? Uh, your next tip is slow it down. I talked about this a lot on my video giving you guys tips on how to get better at pull-ups, which you can watch here which the video on how you can get better at push-ups, which you can also watch here. I talk about this a lot, slow it down. When you spend more time under tension, you're improving your strength. So, especially on the way down with the squat, look, gravity, the band is gonna pull you down anyway. Just go down nice and slow. I've been going through my resistance band program myself lately. I've got some cool exciting stuff coming with that so I've been filming every workout I've got some cool videos coming on that cool new options for you guys in terms of my programs with that coming as well which is exciting 
But one of the things I'm doing a lot in this program is doing slow eccentrics, slow negatives, slow movements. And look, honestly, that is just fucking torching my legs on leg day. The slow squats and the slow deadlift with the resistance band, just an eight second on the way down, just sets of five, I'm fucked the next day. So there we go, the proof is in the pudding. So are resistance bands good for squats? Yeah, resistance bands are good for any movement. Resistance bands can even help you progress out of a bit of a plateau with your big heavy back squats. So even with the barbell, you can add some resistance bands to get a little bit more on. I do this one with, with clients a bit as well when they've got themselves stuck in a bit of a plateau. I will take a couple of kettlebells and a couple of resistance bands loop the bands through the kettlebells and then tie them over the ends of, of, on either end of the barbell. So you can do this two different ways. You can take a really heavy kettlebell, which is gonna stay firmly planted on the floor. And that's basically just turning the bands into way more resistance in that end range of the movement. The other thing you can do with it is use a really, really light kettlebell so that it's not even reaching the ground yet and that's gonna be sort of swinging slightly so that as you're set up, it's bringing your stabilizers in a little bit more. As you go down, it's gonna to touch the ground so it's nice and easy at the bottom. As you stand up and the kettlebells start coming back up off the ground again, it starts getting more difficult and then there's just that slight rocking. It's just gonna help work your core more. So there's two cool, fun little things that you can do with your normal barbell back squats as well. What do squats benefit? What don't they benefit? Look, a big one that squats benefit is your day-to-day -day life. It's a great functional strength movement. When you think squats, what could that possibly benefit? It benefits hopping up and down out of a chair, something as simple as that. When you look at your granddad and he's struggling and groaning every time he hops up and down out of his chair, it's because he stopped doing any sort of resistance training on his legs and the muscles have started wasting away and his legs are good for fuck all now. So when he goes to stand up and down, it hurts, it hurts. And when you do squats, whether that be with a barbell on your back or your front or holding a kettlebell or with resistance bands, it's bringing your core into it more as well. Look, leg press, it's still a super beneficial machine. I can see why lots of people use it though because they can't squat very heavy and it's embarrassing. When you're doing squats, you're using your core a lot more. Simple, you're using a lot more muscle groups. Leg press, yeah, cool, but you're just, you're just targeting your legs now. So when you're isolating, yeah, boom, use a leg press. But if you're trying to train for a full functional movement that's helping your day to day, squats are probably better. Squats are also really good for weight loss. Um, your legs are made up of some big strong muscle groups. When you're training big strong muscle groups you're using more energy to move those big strong muscle groups so you're gonna burn more calories which in turn leads to weight loss. And also if you're struggling to gain weight but you're only going to the gym and just training your arms and your arms are getting bigger and cool but you're still not as heavy as you want to get to. It's because you're not training your legs, you're not training all your big heavy muscles. You want to get heavier, you need big legs. Simple. Build a big foundation. When you build more muscle, you burn more fat. The more muscle you have, the heavier you are, the, the more energy it use, your body uses just to do your day-to-day -day shit. So look, build muscle, burn fat do squats. Also good for injury prevention. You're building muscles around, you know, dodgy joints like your knee. You're always hearing of people having fucking knee injuries. Make your knees stronger. Make the muscles around your knees stronger. Build stronger ankles, stronger hips. All those, all those muscle groups around those joints are all working when you do squats, especially when you do them properly and go nice and deep. So yeah, it's gonna help prevent injury. Here's how you can do squats with resistance bands. Resistance bands are good for squats. They're great for squats. So yeah, if you've gotten over the gym, gotten over expensive memberships, or sitting in traffic for an hour just to get there and spend another hour of your time, or you're stuck in lockdown, look, my ebook is for you. Train wherever the fuck you want. There's no rules that say where you can and can't exercise, so be more like me. Train anywhere, anytime. Just train wherever the fuck you want. 
It's easy. Link's in the description. Get your free copy. While you're down in the description, I've also popped a link there to the website that I've been getting my resistance bands from, all my gym equipment from, power systems. So check those guys out. They've got some, they've got a good range up there. Don't forget, like and subscribe, and uh, see you soon.